Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to Moscow Centre. Now I thought I'd take you a bit of a, on a bit of a walk around of Red Square and check out what a Saturday afternoon in December looks like here in Moscow. So let's go. Now for anyone that hasn't been to Moscow before or hasn't been to Red Square before, these are the famous cobblestone bricks I guess you would call them that lead up to Red Square is the, the historical museum on the left hand side here and then here's the walls of the Kremlin on the right and we can see St. Basil's Cathedral just off in the distance there. Actually it's a really great photo from here because you kind of get a bit of a strange view of it but just looking back towards Manaj Square here we can actually see they're setting up this second Christmas markets just off in the distance there by the Four Seasons Hotel and the Christmas tree. This is not going to be ready for about another week. So there's all the guys kind of uh, fixing the pavements over here. It's just lightly snowing now, so it's not too bad, but if anybody recognizes where I am here, that's a hot near Riyadh shopping center right in front of me with the very famous Oh, well, it used to be McDonald's, but now it's Kuzni Itochka. You could actually eat a Big Mac facing the Kremlin. And this is Alexander Garden here with the gates just off on the left-hand side. But everybody's rugged up and nice and warm. It's actually not very cold today. It's only about minus one, minus two Celsius. So it's actually really nice weather to walk in Moscow. That's really why I've come here. And also... It's not very snowy, so it's easy to kind of navigate the, the streets nearby. So let's take a walk up and check out Red Square. I think this cobblestoned pathway here is probably the most iconic walk that you can do walking in Moscow center and heading up to the Red Square. These very famous painted lines where if you've ever seen any kind of TV, news, documentaries where they kind of lead the uh, trucks and the military vehicles when they have the parades, this is exactly the lines that they have to follow. And you can see here one of the first towers of the Kremlin and the famous red star right on top. And then we can just see the spires of St. Basil's Cathedral off in the distance. Now, I really like this walk up here, especially when it's snowing like this. It kind of feels like we're in December, like it's the holidays. You know, it kind of, this is the true Moscow day today. And then just looking back down the street here, you can see that kind of slope that we walked up that kind of reveals Red Square. And these red bricks of the State Historical Museum, they're just so vivid with this kind of overcast day today. So nice. And this sort of light snow falling as well. It's just sort of a, almost like, it's not a perfect time, place, day, everything, but it's very close. And then this is what we've come to see, the Christmas markets. The very famous Red Square Christmas markets. And then we can also see Nikulskaya Street ahead of us. And there's also the Kazan Cathedral right there. We can just start to hear the fairy tales and music playing on the speakers as we kind of pan around. Lots of people walking in Red Square today. Lots of people, uh, I think really because the weather's kind of warmed up, it was minus 12, minus 15 the last few days, but now we're at minus one or two. It's almost like tropical weather. And we can see here more of the Kremlin the famous red walls, the flag flying. We can see Sparsky Tower there, and then St. Basil's Cathedral there. It's almost uh, kind of mythic, mystical. I was gonna say mythical, mystical, with that kind of fog and light snow falling today. Now we will eventually walk around to see people skating on the ice rink, but there's a bit of a line forming to pay here. It's actually very reasonably priced, probably only on the Saturday and Sunday nights in the evenings are the highest prices, but there is a bit of a secret. If you've got your own skates and you come here between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. 
during the week, Monday to Friday, it's free. Yeah, if you can come before 3.30 p.m. on the working days, you've got free entry and free use of the rink. Now, I do kind of want to walk around and show people kind of in the video here. So hopefully just walking around slowly, we're getting a bit of an idea of the kind of feeling of the Christmas markets. Now, the one thing, oh, is that Diet Moroz. One of many Diet Morozes, I think, today we might see, but yeah, I just want to get a bit of a feeling for the place. There's lots of little kind of stalls and shops with souvenirs. Everybody's clamoring to get hot drinks. There's one here with uh, mittens and scarves and ear warmers, but lots and lots of people. It's very traditional, I think, for people in Moscow, Moscow region, to come to uh, have a walk in Red Square. You can get some different drinks here. Very nice. And yeah, it's uh, I really just want to walk around and not really kind of focus on everybody, but I think it's nice to get people in the video, I think, sometimes. Here's another one with some sweaters, these kind of fluffy mittens. And of course, we're going to have the crowds. This is Saturday, it's a non-working day, so it always looks like half of Moscow comes out to see the markets. So we'll navigate through this little part and we'll be good, I think. Here's some warm drinks and we come out now towards a little bit of the open area of the market here here's some nice crafts this kind of uh, blue delf kind of looking uh, figurines i'm not sure if they've got a certain name in moscow or not and have a look at the museum from this angle look how nice it looks it's just bright red color. So nice. And we can see the second entrance here that walks up to Red Square. I think this is kind of, it's probably much the way that everybody leaves Red Square walking down these uh, steps and then through the arches. And we can see how busy Nikulskaya Street is from here with those very famous fairy lights. I think a lot of people might have seen before. And then have a look at the Kazan Cathedral or church, I guess I'm going to call it right here. And then just walking along the side of Gum here. There's some uh, trees here with their Christmas baubles and fairy lights on. It's kind of still early afternoon, so the lights haven't really kicked in just yet. But still nice to walk along here. You can see the very famous Louis Vuitton shop on the corner here, which is no longer operating, but it's still got kind of pride and place on the corner of the building. We can just start to see the other side of the ice skating rink here. So let's head up there and check that out. And on this upper level here, they've got some nice little cafes again and little shops and everybody taking selfies and photos and videos. I'm curious how many people have been here 10, 20, 30 times and then they uh, still come and take photos and videos and want to walk around. And then look at how many people are skating. Wow. I think there's maybe a few too many people almost. I wonder if they've got a limit on how many people they let onto the rink at one time. There's a lot of people uh, enjoying this kind of uh, early evening session. It's uh, very nice. Wow. Such a kind of <laughs> nice, happy afternoon. It's, uh, I wonder if we'll catch anybody falling over, I think, so far. And then as we keep on walking, we can just start to see the Christmas tree here outside Gum. 
so nice. I kind of really wanted to come on one of these sort of snowy days as well when it's uh, nice and comfortable to walk. It's not too cold and you can kind of still enjoy it. Wow, this ice skating rink's so nice to kind of watch here. It's really not overly expensive to come and do it either, even if you rent skates yourself. I see lots of people bring their own. So you can kind of get a different rate if you bring your own skates versus renting them. But, oh, nice. Everyone's taking a bit of a break on the side rails. You know, you do a few laps and you kind of get tired and then take a bit of a break and stop for some photos. Oh, so nice. Oh, an action shot, check that out. And have a look at this stand right here. It's got ice creams. Well, kind of like waffle cones of some kind. Check these out, how nice do they look? There's all sorts of different versions of them there. Nutella, Snickers, strawberry ones. But they look very nice. So each year that you come to Goom and you take a walk over December, January, they've got a different theme for their decorations. So obviously people come each year to see and see what the differences are, but this year it's got this blue kind of color to it. And then all of the decorations inside are also that similar kind of color. And you can even see at the entrance there, that blue kind of motif on the, on the sign. Everybody get, trying to get photos, selfies. It's like a popular uh, pastime in Moscow. Just walking around, I really do hope you like this video. I uh, was waiting for this kind of like snowy kind of day to walk here and just kind of feel more like the holidays, more like Christmas, more like New Year. And I think I found that perfect day today. A little bit more walking here by the side of Goom. You can see all the different brand stores that kind of, oh, is that for tea? <laughs> all the different brand stores that are kind of not really here in Russia anymore, but they've got the window display still on show. Well, so nice. Everybody happy, I think, today. I think it's hard not to have a smile on your face when it's kind of this kind of like light snowfall, kind of zero degrees. It's comfortable to walk around and you can kind of really feel the atmosphere when it's like this. And then walking on a little bit further here, we can see the next part of the Christmas markets. And everybody again, stopping for photos. It's an easy way to make your holiday photo to send to all your friends and family when it's weather like this. It's a nice day to walk in Moscow today. Everybody trying to come up with creative ways to get photos. Trying to make something that no one else has got. Maybe she's doing TikTok. I wonder what event she's uh, making the video for. But let's walk on inside and see the other part of the markets here. And more people stopping for photos. I think uh, really when you walk around, you know, you're either dodging someone that's taking a photo or you're trying to take one yourself as you walk around. Here's the little counter here where you can pay for rides for the kids. Now I must admit, the price for a ride is not very cheap. And I guess for the fact that it's in Red Square, 400 rubles, and we can actually have a nice sit-down meal for 400 rubles. But I guess if you bring the kids, they want to go on the rides, right? Look, the flying airplanes here. They are nice. All the kids. And then all the parents uh, looking on. I think no matter where you kind of point the camera walking around, you kind of get a good photograph or a, a good angle. Now, if you really don't like hearing me talking over this, probably put the volume down. 
and just watch the walk through. I'm just wondering if people want just music and walking. Yeah. I'm sure there is a few shoppers that buy souvenirs here, but I think mostly people are coming to look and, and just walk around and not do too much actual shopping, I wonder. But there's the other little ride here. It's not going up and down at the moment. And this building here is where the actual TV station does their broadcasts from, where they do like the morning breakfast shows and the afternoon shows. They do them live from in this building with the glass there. Lots and lots of people on this other side over here, but I can see why there's a line. They've got ponchik or donuts with the powdered sugar right here. That's why everyone's lining up at this stand to get some very famous donuts. Then from this other side, you can get a really nice view of St. Basil's Cathedral there off in the distance. And the tower, 3.15 p.m. So if you're wondering what time it is, Saturday afternoon, we can see the kind of outside part of the markets here and the rides and everybody walking on the famous cobblestones of Red Square. There's another lady here trying to get some creative photographs, you know, through the trees. It's all about trying to find the angle that nobody else has their photo of. So, oh, what do we have here? I think it's corn. I have to kind of watch where I'm walking here. The, uh, the cobblestones always are extra slippery right once the snow falls. So, oh, they've got corn on a stick and they've got toffee apples as well. Oh, so nice. More people trying to get some hot tea and coffees. It's, a, it's as though we just basically leave the house and instantly we want food and drink. Seems to be a bit of a Russian thing. Any event that you come to in the parks, it's always like this. Oh, now we can see the merry-go-round here. A few kids on that upstairs level. And then lots of families kind of filming all the kids on there. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to uh, do a bit of an uncut version walking through just so you can get a bit of a feeling of the place and everybody uh, walking around here. And again, a nice view of the GUM department store, and that kind of grand facade. Like when you walk inside, you don't really kind of get that feeling for it once you're inside, but it's very, very uh, historical kind of looking even in 2022, you know? Everybody. Walking around, hanging out. Yeah, the very famous Red Square Christmas markets or holiday markets. Oh, the kids on the aeroplanes again. And the parents watching them go around. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> High five. Oh. So I actually came here uh, about a week and a half ago when there was almost nobody walking here and it wasn't really as nice a weather so I kind of decided to wait until it's going to be kind of a little bit snowing, it's going to be a little bit warmer weather and then I could walk around and kind of get a bit of a different feeling for it. And then in the middle here they've got another kind of big food stand, it's kind of a very big one with different entries, different uh, Kind of sellers a lot of them are selling the same things really it's not very different but you can stand outside here at the tables and just relax for a few minutes maybe you've walked a little while and then now you need to take a break here's another stand here with some different ornaments lots of moscow souvenirs 
very classic looking uh, souvenirs, some plates, cups, mugs, magnets, very nice. Some old postcards here, these are very cool. These kind of uh, almost like uh, kind of classic looking postcards that are on modern cardboard now, but that's the whole point, right? Everybody kind of just walking around. It's actually really kind of a fairly big market once you come here. It would take about an hour to kind of get around if you're just walking slowly and checking everything out. But, you know, it's uh, nice just to uh, take a walk. I'm not too sure what they call these, but maybe they're the flying chairs. I wonder what the name of them are, but it's very cool here, right with the backdrop of St. Basil's Cathedral. It's, uh, this is actually set up every year in this same spot, so I've seen this before myself, so we'll let it go around a couple of times so we can get a nice shot of it. Doesn't look like anybody wants to go on the teacups today. The uh, staff here is kind of standing by them. It's not quite as an uh, exhilarating ride, I don't think, anymore for most of the people that are getting a little bit older now. You can see the gum department store off in the background and then that's the sort of far exit here that takes us down to Zaradi Park. And they even have some stilt walkers here. Everybody's kind of clamoring to get a photograph with them. But it's actually hard to walk on these kind of polished cobblestones kind of at the best of times. But to do it with these uh, stilts on, I guess they're very good at it or they're very skilled at it, one or the other. But they just let you take your own photographs, no problems. Everybody kind of is nice and patient to wait for a photo. But the girls and the guy there, they, uh, <laughs> they look kind of happy, I think. <laughs> and this looks like the other famous spot for a photograph here with Snigorichka here on the left and then Diep Moroz on the right hand side. Oh, almost like Japanese tourists for a minute. And then just walking on a little bit further and around the other side here. There's a lot to see actually walking around. So all these different stalls and kind of markets, I guess. It's uh, very interesting to kind of check them out, especially if you haven't been here before. You know, it's uh, always something completely new. Maybe you're not from the region. Come all the way to Moscow to kind of check out the winter kind of decorations and Different displays. Oh, look at all the Matryoshka dolls here. Oh, and these nice Christmas ornaments. Very nice. Lots of different Matryoshkas. And here's a couple more of these uh, stilt walkers here, trying to get photos with everybody. So hopefully you've got a wide angle lens to get everybody in. <laughs> they just sort of walk around and stop for photos as people ask. Very nice. Now we can really see the flying chairs going around. I come back from a bit of a distance here. I guess they're kind of scary for the young, young kids, but they want to feel like they're flying around a red square. I think it's pretty easy. Uh, to get that feeling. Wow. I think even the uh, there's an older lady there <laughs> screaming every time it goes around as well. <laughs> now I think by an absolute long way this is probably the most iconic view that you would sort of know in Red Square here. The, the cathedral off in the background, the snow falling, you know when you ever see the news clips they always show this kind of look where it's just kind of white everywhere. <laughs> Lots of people around today, by the way. Really, because the weather's warmed up so much, that's why there's a bit more of a crowd. Obviously, it's Saturday as well, but it really has been cold all week until today. 
So it's kind of the perfect day to get out and take a walk. You know, everybody's rugged up. I mean, you're not going to find anybody complaining really with this kind of weather. It's just kind of nice walking weather in Moscow. Snow falling. It's getting a little bit darker now. But you can see here Lenin's mausoleum right in front of me. And then the very famous buildings that make up the Kremlin here on the left hand side as it kind of gets heavier snow slowly, slowly in the last few hours since I got here. I think we might go inside and check out Gum, get warmed up a little bit and have a look at the Christmas tree there. All right, from this angle, I think we can hear the, <laughs> we can see the kids <laughs> kind of uh, screaming a little bit. <laughs> As soon as I start filming, they all go quiet, but what a great shot this is from here. Wow. As the snow falls and the lens gets a bit foggier, but it's okay. It's a nice day walking in Moscow. Wow, look how high. I didn't realize how high this actually gets. Wow, it looks like fun. Who wants to ride on the flying chairs? Let me know in the comments. If you come to Red Square, would you do this yourself? Okay, so I've made it inside now to Gum. I've actually sort of spent about 20 minutes just kind of warming up and uh, readjusting myself from all the snow on me, but there's some very interesting Christmas trees here. Now, these are all sponsored by, mostly by the stores that are in Gum and they basically get a chance to decorate them themselves. Obviously they're a little bit branded at the same time, but everybody comes here every year to have a look at the different trees. Maybe they get an idea of something for their own tree, I'm not too sure, but all the different sort of uh, kind of looks of the trees. So we'll do a little bit of a walk around here. There's another one with the lights on here, which is kind of nice. And they've got this big kind of snow dome here. This is very nice. So yeah, I don't want the video to run too long. I have made videos inside Goom before. Uh, I could do another completely separate video. You can let me know in the comments. This one's a uh, Imperial porcelain. And I've got teacups and saucers on there. I'm always curious with all of these trees, if people kind of want to take off the ornaments and uh, borrow them. They do seem very uh, untouched. I think most people come here just for the kind of uh, photo aspect of them. But Izala Izia? It's like maybe it's a record company of some kind, I'm not sure. But you'll see everybody kind of walking through and stopping for photos. Pinko, again, the, another tree with the different lights on. It's really on a Saturday coming in here, it's like dodge the photographer when you're uh, wanting to walk through. It wouldn't be very nice as a shopper, I don't think. If you came here just for shopping, it would be very difficult because so many of us are coming here with our cameras and our phones. Moschino, Moschino, with all the clocks. Coffee Mania, it's an interesting one. But yeah, I could do basically a full video walking around here. Again, let me know if you'd like to see the uh, Gum Christmas tree video. You can see they go all the way down the center. It's really quite a big place and the amount of trees that you can see just the different types and the different decorations. And we can see the big grand Christmas tree right in the center here. So I think it's a nice kind of add on to the walk outside. Basically the markets and the ice skating rink are all part of the Gum department store. They kind of combine together. So lots of crowds again. And as we basically Swing up here, you can see the, the size of this tree and this kind of blue and white theme that's predominant all through Gum as we walk around. 
and uh, it's near impossible to get to see the ornaments now. Everybody kind of crowded around, wanting to kind of see the different ones and get a chance to buy a new one for 2023. As we walk along a little bit further here, then they've got the kind of normal trees that are always here in Gum. And they actually decorate them with the white, I guess the kind of snow looking coverings on them to mimic what it would look like outside right now. Now, if you haven't heard about the famous ice creams in Gum, well, let me show you the line here for the ice creams. Now, there is actually quite a few different sort of spots you can buy these from, but very, very simple and very, very easy. And have a look how long this line goes back. Now, I wonder if everybody realizes what they're lining up for. I think they do, but have a look at the line just for ice creams. It goes all, this is longer than my bus line going home later on tonight. And I think it event, oh, it wraps around the corner even. How long is that line just for ice creams? The world famous gum ice cream here in Moscow. So a big part of the gum department store is the Bosco shop here and Bosco family, which is kind of the kind of predominant brand through this whole, I guess you call it a department store. I mean, would you call it a shopping center? I mean, it's kind of a department store as such, but it's just got different brand stores inside as you walk around. Here's the Dinamo Christmas tree. Look at that, even the sports company has got involved. It's got like uh, footballs on there. How cool is that from Dinamo? Has anyone got a football on their Christmas tree as an ornament? I don't think uh, anybody's thought about that. <laughs> and there's uh, some more here. Falk. Again, these are all the different brands that are in the... Uh, no, no worries. As you walk around, these are all the different brands that are kind of represented and I don't think there's a kind of a competition for the best one, but I guess they all try to uh, outdo each other. Simone Pirelli. I'm not too sure who she is, but there's Simone here. But we really could do uh, an entire separate video showing the different trees walking around and just the guess just the themes of them is kind of interesting how they kind of all represent something that's kind of referencing the brand or the company or the season so yeah interesting A pair of scissors on the tree okay everybody i want to thank you for watching this walk around here of red square and then here we are in gum now I really do hope you've enjoyed it, seeing the Christmas markets, kind of feeling the kind of atmosphere of December and January and, you know, just that snow falling, the kind of getting a little bit darker, the lights coming on and then finishing up here to see all the different trees. So thank you, everybody. If you'd really like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos similar to this, let me know in the comments, please, what kind of idea you'd like for a video especially the ones that I can do here, seeing the decorations and the different streets around Moscow. I think it's just very interesting, especially this time of year. So yeah, thanks everybody. If you're a subscriber, thank you for watching a new video. You've made it to the end, even more impressed. Thank you very much. I've put another video for you to watch. You can watch that right after this one. If you want to watch another video on the channel, maybe an older one. So yeah, I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody.